Hi everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com and today I've decided to step out of the stamp studio and go into the kitchen. Now I gotta be honest, I'm not a very good cook, but one thing I can do well is I can make a pie. My mom taught me this fabulous method for making fruit pies and I'm talking making them in a flash. And her secret ingredient, it's the microwave oven. It's true, don't turn off your, your video yet. I promise you, this video will be worth watching. I'm gonna show you how to make great looking pies like this. You're gonna do all of your cooking in your microwave oven and all that little nice golden browning up, you're gonna do that in your oven in only about 10 minutes. About 11 minutes in the microwave, 10 minutes in your oven, and you're gonna have a pie. Amazing, isn't it? Well, I don't know about you, I'm ready to get started. Let's make a pie. All right, the first thing we need to do is to prep our work area. Now, this is a little tip that my mom gave me. You can get those fancy little mats and things, you know, those dough mats, but you know what? We're gonna make our own with some no-stick spray. We're going to spray that on our surface, oh, and then I'm going to sprinkle it with flour and spread that around. So like I said, we don't need all kinds of fancy tools to do this. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get my rolling pin um, floured up. Now it's time to come in with our dough. Now let's talk real quick about pie dough. If you have a favorite pie dough recipe, hey, by all means, Cook it in the microwave is gonna work great with any pie dough. If you have watched my video on how to do a make-ahead pie dough, that's what I'm gonna be using. But you know what, if you're one of those and you say, Connie, I just don't know anything about pie dough, you can even use the stuff that comes in the refrigerated section at the store. Okay, now my pie dough is actually a double crust, so I'm gonna cut it in half. So I'm only gonna start with my bottom crust Kind of work that into a bowl. By the way, this has been in my fridge, very cold. Whenever you're working with pie dough, you want it to be um, pretty chilled because the more we work with it with our hands, um, the heat from my hands will start to uh, melt the shortening that's in the pie dough itself. Okay, I've been kind of working it into a circle, so we're good to go. And I'm just gonna start real uh, with just a really light touch to start. Take it and I'm going to turn it so I can kind of start to get that circle started. At this point, I'm going to start working from the middle. Whoops. Start working from the middle out. Get a little more flour here on my rolling pin. All right. Because what tends to happen when you're working with pie dough is that um, the outer edges get very thick while the middle gets really thin. So I want to make sure I'm getting all those outside edges. Now you might be wondering, well how do I know when I've got it big enough? Well let me show you. I'm going to bring in my pie pan and I can see that I have enough room to go all the way around so that works for me. I'm going to take my pie dough and very gently fold it in half and now bring in my pie pan and I can just gently lay the dough into the pan. See how nice and easy that is? All right. Now it's time to fill the pie. I know everyone has um, probably a favorite recipe, or like I said, Grandma's got that favorite recipe you've always used. Huh. I'm going to make it easy for my video. It's called canned cherry pie filling. I'm going to be using um, two of the smaller size cans. But if you're one of those that just really likes a lot of cherry in their pie, you can do one large can and one small can. That works really well too. But for today, I'm just going to do the two cans, and I should be just about right. All right, so we're going to get all that in there. Can I tell you a gross story? My daughter used to call this cherry pus. <laughs> we used to love it. I just like the cherry pus. All right, probably more information you wanted to know. There we go, okay. So I've got uh, my pie all filled. Now we're gonna prep the top pie crust. So let me move this out of the way and we'll get started with the top. All right, I've got my top pie crust now all rolled out and ready to go. And just like we did before, we're gonna take it, fold it in half, 
Get that out of the way. I'm going to bring my pie in. Pick that up. Just lay it right over the center and flip it over. So we took a quick break, but I've got my upper crust on my pie. We're all ready to go. We are now going to come in with just a butter knife. I'm going to cut off all this excess. And what I like to do is come in and I just put my fingers underneath the plate. This is kind of my little measurement. And I bring the knife in right here at the creases in my finger. That comes in at about one inch. And we're just going to trim that all the way around. So I've got it all trimmed up and now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pinch it closed and tuck it under. So pinch it closed, tuck it under. Of course we're going to repeat that all the way around the pie. Now to do that fancy little edge, it's just as simple as little pinchers. I want you to grab the edge of the pie dough, pinch, and twist, pinch and twist pinch twist. And we're just going to do that all the way around the edges of the pie. And that way we'll have a real pretty fluted edge on the pie. All right. Just like so. All right. Now, one thing we have to do with any pie is we need some vent holes. So I'm just going to come in with the knife and just add some pretty little vent holes here, like so. Okay. Last thing before it's going to go in the microwave is one tablespoon of sugar. And you're just going to sprinkle that on the top. You know, I'm going to take that back. I think a tablespoon might be a little too much. I'm going to say probably about half a tablespoon. So you don't want too much because you don't want that sugar to burn. Okay, so I've sprinkled it with sugar. It's now ready to go in the microwave. So we're going to shut off the camera, head to the kitchen, and pop this baby in the microwave. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to put it in and let it run on high for, I'm going to do 11 minutes. Every microwave is going to be a little bit different. Um, you're going to want to kind of play with yours. Maybe put it in for about 10. Look at the pie. What we're shooting for is we want everything on top of the pie to be, um, you know, all the dough to be cooked. You might have a little spot in the center, about the size of a quarter, that hasn't cooked. That's okay. Um, you're still good to go. But we're going to do all the baking in the microwave, all the cooking, and then we're going to crisp it, brown it, make it gorgeous and golden, and we're going to do that in the oven. We want to set our oven to 450 degrees. And go ahead and start your oven while it's in the microwave. That way, as soon as it comes out of the microwave, it's ready to go in the oven. So we're going to let that go, and uh, we'll give it a check here in about 11 minutes, see how we're doing. Okay, so I've got about three minutes left in the microwave. Just kind of want to let you know what's going on. The crust is starting to kind of bubble up, look real pretty. I can still see where there's, uh, you know, it's still doughy. The next thing we want to kind of be looking for is for some of the cherry filling to be um, kind of bubbling up through those vent holes. And um, it's starting to get there. I'm betting we're going to probably take right at 11 minutes in my microwave, but that's the update on where we are. When we're done in about two and a half minutes, we'll be back and see where we are. All right, just came out of the oven. Uh, for me, it ended up taking about 12, 12 and a half minutes. It's all pretty much based on how thin you rolled your top pie crust. So, like I said, um, you're just going to be kind of looking that all the pie dough on top is all cooked. I know it's not very attractive right now, is it? But we're going to put this in the oven now, and we're going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Again, we're going to watch it, and that's going to make it all golden nice. So let's go ahead and put that in our 450 degree preheated oven. All right, moment of truth. My pie has uh, come out of the oven. It's been cooling for about three and a half hours or so. Still a tiny bit warm on the bottom, but I don't know about you. I can't stand it. i got to have some pie. So we're going to cut into this just because I want you to be able to see how nice it comes out. I'm going to cut off a big piece because I love cherry pie. Now, before I pull this out, i got to tell you, you guys all know, the first piece of pie never comes out the way it should. So, I don't know, maybe if I hold my tongue just right, it really will come out of here the way I want it to. But it always seems like that first piece never 
quite wants to come out whole. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's do that. There we go. Yeah, there's still some good, good cherry stuff down here, but like I said, I think you guys, you guys have ever done pies, you know how the first one always comes out. So I didn't bring a fork in. So I'm just gonna go at it with my fingers. But I gotta tell you, it's fantastic! So happy holidays, happy pie baking. I hope you get a chance to uh, create this pie over the holidays. If you have any questions, please feel free to just leave me a comment and I'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much for checking out my video today.